So hi and welcome to this video. So as you can see, it's a wee bit different to the regular uh, videos. And that's because I've thought of a new way to explain things that's easier to explain than using text. It's easier to draw diagrams um, and colours and things than it is to explain uh, certain concepts in uh, just plain text. Uh, so that's the reason behind it. And if you like it, uh, just let me know. If you don't like it, just also let me know and I will get rid of it. But let's get into the actual tutorial. So uh, today we're going to be learning about is creating a window in Python. But before we do that, I need to go over some things I um, forgot to uh, go over in the uh, first, um, well, the first videos of the series. So uh, the first thing we uh, need to go over is um, uh, how a Python program runs. So uh, people think a traditional program runs like this. Uh, let's say it goes program. And then we arrow, and then processor. And if you know anything about computers, you might also know <clears throat> that there's also a layer uh, that the processor just doesn't just run a program; it gets converted into something called binary first. And this goes in between here, the program and the processor. But that is true for certain languages, so for a language like C it's true, for C++ it's true, um, and any other languages, I don't, know, I don't know all of them. But for a language like Python that's not true, so the way Python program runs is we go program, uh, and we go program, then we draw an arrow, and then we say uh, bytecode which is a sort of a special language that the Python interpreter understands. So it's sort of just like instructions. Uh, the next thing we do is we go uh, interpreter. Oops, wrong color. So interpreter. And then we go um, uh, processor. Okay, so it's the wrong color, but it doesn't matter. So here is how a Python program runs, basically. So uh, the uh, reason I told you all this is because that way you'll know that every single thing that gets created in Python is run inside the Python interpreter. So it's sort of like an extra layer between the uh, program and the computer. So if you thought of it like this, if you were to program in C, uh, then you would just go, it would, the steps, like sort of the layers of the program would be program, uh, would be the first layer, then uh, underneath that would be uh, binary, and then underneath that is processor. I suppose you could com com um, sort of... Uh, Combine processor and binary. So uh, just write processor here. And we could theoretically just combine these because they're basically the same thing. But in Python, it's different. So in Python, whoops, uh, Python, uh, the way the program runs is program. Then the layer underneath that is bytecode. Whoops, uh, byte. I know I spelled byte wrong, but uh, it doesn't matter. Uh, then underneath that is interpreter. Then underneath that is binary. Then underneath that would be processor. Oops, oh, sorry. I'll just undo that. So these are all the layers of a Python program compared to C program, which is why you could, as you can imagine, it's probably slower to run, and we could combine these two as well because they're the same thing. So 
uh, as you can see the only real difference is this layer here uh, I'll just do this because it's a different color so this layer is what makes a Python program different to a C program there's also uh, um, other things that make it different because they're two different types of languages uh, Python's interpreted and C is compiled but I will go on to that in the next uh, set of videos so that's what we need to know and if we go to here and I was just to write anything simple so it doesn't matter what I do if I was to say print hello world uh, this since it's written in Python is um, that means this runs inside the Python interpreter um, and that is the same, the same can be said for anything written in Python so this is what I'm trying to get onto, which is uh, window applications so GUIs so here's our GUI here's our window and we'll just color it in to make it a bit easier to see uh, there's our window uh, we have a red X button and a yellow button I think and then it goes green so this is our window and we have in here we have content so this is how uh, it appears to the user but behind the scenes this is still running inside of the Python interpreter so uh, that means we still have the same structure I showed earlier with the layers so anything inside the blue circle uh, is inside the Python interpreter Oh, I spelled it wrong, sorry. Uh, interpreter. So anything in, inside blue is in the in, is runs inside the interpreter. And um, what this means basically is it just means that uh, all of our programs basically run within a program. So if you could think of C again, so C is here. Uh, a C program just basically goes program. Oops. Uh, program uh, and basically this is it it runs like that so it's just it's sort of on its own and a python uh, sort of goes like this so we have program and then we surround it in green then we have above that, I'll just do this in yellow, interpreter. Okay, and then this sort of is surrounded by it as well. So uh, that's sort of the difference between a normal uh, conventional sort of C program and a Python program. And well, that's all we need to know before we can get started. So uh, that's it. Let's get started. Okay, so now we've got that uh, long introduction out of the way. It's time to actually start programming and make this an actual programming tutorial. So uh, as you can see, I'm in the uh, Python um, text editor GUI idle thing. Uh, and I've got a file called tkinter or tinker or whatever it's called dot pi. And we're going to be using it to create um, just a simple window. Uh, with Python and the um, Tinker or whatever module. So uh, let's get started. So uh, with it, uh, just like any other uh, Python um, module, we just have to import it. So we can just say uh, from tkinter or whatever it's called, import all. And that will just import the uh, module for using GUIs in Python. The next thing we need to do is we just need to create a variable called app or whatever we want to call it, doesn't matter, and we'll just call it tk so this, whoops uh, what this does is it just uh, sets up like the uh, tk interface like t the, sorry, the uh, tinker interface uh, I can't pronounce that, so now we've done that, uh, the next thing we need to do is uh, create the main loop, so we just go to app dot main loop and there we have our main loop created. So what we're going to do now is we're just going to run this. And here we have, uh, whoops, I can get rid of this. Uh, let me see. Okay, I'll just push it out of the way. 
So as you can see, we have our window. And as I said earlier, this all runs inside the uh, Python uh, in interpreter, which is why when I try to close um, this uh, Python shell, it says your program's still running and then this will uh, kill the window as well. So uh, let's run that again actually and just push this away. So here's our window and we can do everything we can with a normal window. Uh, it just works fine. So what we're going to do is we're going to um, create a title for the window. Okay, so to create a title, that's really simple. All we have to do is type app.title and then give it a title. So uh, in here, we just create uh, a string that is the uh, title of whatever our window is going to be. So we can just say uh, my window, I don't know, uh, but my window made with Python. So there we have, uh, there we have it. We've done, uh, created our title. And if we hit F5 to run this, uh, just let it run. Here we have our window. So I'll just get rid of this. And as you can see, it says my window made with Python is the title. So we'll close that and we'll close the uh, interpreter. Uh, and the next thing we're going to do is we're just going to put a label on it. So that's really simple, but we have to uh, put it inside the main loop. Um, just there, uh, that's the way we lay it out. Because the main loop is the last thing we uh, set up. So what we're going to do is we're just going to create uh, a variable called label equals. Uh, label is like a function inside of the uh, GUI library. Uh, so what we want to do is we want to say where we want to put the label, which in our case is app, because that's our window, and uh, what we want it to say. So we want our label to say is um, we get, well we tell our label we tell uh, Python we want the label to say with the text parameter, and we can just say this is the first or uh, I don't know this is my Python label. But uh, okay now if we hit F five. And let this run you'll see there's nothing there it's uh, completely empty and that's because we have to actually add the element to the window we don't have to add the title because it's not actually in the content area of the window but we have to add a label uh, so that's simple all we do is we type in label dot pack with empty parameters and now if we add f5 we can see here's our label so uh, if we scroll this around, we can see the labels here and by default it gets positioned into the center of the window. So that's it for this video. Don't forget to like, favorite, comment and subscribe. And as I said before, um, if you like the new intro, let me know. So I'll keep it. If you don't like it, let me know and I'll get rid of it. And if you think it's a good idea that I should use for uh, explaining more things, just let me know again and, that's, and uh, I'll do it. So uh, thanks for watching, don't forget to like, favorite, comment and subscribe and I'll see you next time.